Alicia from KL Gadget Guy and today I'm at the Audi Q7 launch uh, we'll be checking out the new uh, Audi Q7 virtual cockpit which is over here and the new MMI display There are two different views uh, when it comes to the virtual cockpit. Now this is what you see here is the classic view. You can actually change it to the progressive view and if you notice there is actually an embedded navigation system inside the virtual cockpit. So looking at how large it is and it's right in front of you, you won't get lost in anywhere especially in KL. Now you can actually zoom in, in and out. And uh, there are other, you can also control everything from your steering wheel. Now let's go back. Okay, let's go to change the view again. When it comes to having a digital screen, a lot of people always ask, um, is it touch screen? Well, it is not. You actually control everything on your steering wheel. You shouldn't be touching the screen anyway if you're driving. Um, since they actually say that the telephone not ready, I am assuming we can actually slot a SIM card somewhere in the car. I just have to look for it. Now this here, uh, what you see this screen here is actually the MMI navigation system. Uh, it only it only launch once you once the engine has uh, started. Now you control it using the MMI touch, and you can do things like we control your media, whether to the audio player or let's see if you can add something. Yes, you can also find other devices. Looks like there are a lot of Bluetooth <laughs> Bluetooth devices on right here. What's actually interesting here is with the MMI navigation together with the MMI touch you can actually control things like how you want your Audi Q7 suspension to be like You can change from dynamic to auto or to comfort Now this actually changes the specs of the Q7 and it's of course it's very light and you don't really feel the difference if you're driving You can actually change it while you're driving provided that you are driving below 60 kilometers per hour. Now, off-road would be cool. I don't think, uh, would you actually take this car for off-road? I wouldn't, it's just way too expensive and too precious. <laughs> now, if you are a passenger, whether you're a passenger or a driver, there are two ways you can actually look at the navigation system. Whether it's through the MMI navigation screen or when you're using the progressive mode on the virtual cockpit. Alright, so that's it for the first look of the new Audi Q7 Virtual Cockpit and Car Tech. So, to the next video, this is Alicia signing off. Ta da!